How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards back through the mail Monday. First of five returns today coming to us from Kansas City, Kansas. Hope everyone out there had a wonderful weekend. And we have, hmm, looks like a little card pouch, a little holder for the cards made by Mr. Diego Segui. Never seen that before. Very nice signature on both the uh, signature card, index card. Didn't fill out the back. They never usually do. I don't think anyone ever has filled out the back and signed the other side. I've seen them fill out the back and not sign the front, so uh, whichever, that's fine. Traded from 74 Tops as well as the 74 Tops base card for my autograph set. Happy to get those back. 74 Tops was the very first ever year for traded slash update for Tops. 15-year career, 9 with the A's, both the KC A's and the Oakland A's. Unfortunately, they shipped him out in the middle of the 72 season to the Cardinals. Never got a World Series ring with the A's during that hot stretch there in the early 70s. Pretty cool little trivia for Mr. Diego Segui. He played for both Seattle teams. He got a save in the very first ever Seattle Pilots game, and he also took the loss in the very first ever Seattle Mariner game in 1977. In fact, he went 0-7 with a 5-6-9 ERA for that 1977 Seattle Mariner club. Not a good showing from the Mariners that year or from Mr. Diego Segui, but uh, went on to uh, have a kid who played in the majors, da majors uh, David Segui, played for the Mets and the Montreal Expos, as well as a handful of other teams. That is it for Mr. Diego Segui, great autograph signer, great TTMer, very happy to get this back. Thank you very much, Mr. Segui. Let's move on to return number two. All right, gang, next one, Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's see who our second return is going to be. Chris, thanks for the 20 bucks. All will go to a charity. So this cost me 20 bucks. We've got Jim Perry, 17-year career, 10 with the Twins, 7 with the Indians, three-time All-Star, 1970 Cy Young Award winner. One more than he lost, career error 3.45, older brother of Gaylord Perry. Only two brothers to win Cy Young Awards. Finished second in the Rookie of the Year validating in 1959 to Bob Allison. Signed nicely there. Got to get Blake Snell to sign that other card. I actually got a TTM from Blake Snell a couple years ago. I think I tried again last year. And no dice, or at least it's not back yet. So uh, probably not going to send that off to TTM. We'll wait for maybe a signing See if I can get that dual then and now card signed there from Tops. Pretty cool card there. Awesome return from Mr. Jim Perry. Signed my 74 very nicely for the set. Very happy to get these back. $5 a card. Pretty good deal for a very good pitcher. Three-time All-Star. Did I say that already? I think I said it already. All right, let's move on. Return number three. All right, gang. Return number three from Santa Ana, California. Those Santa Ana wins blew this into my mailbox. Very excited about that. You don't hear much about the Santa Ana wins anymore. We got Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy, 12 year career. Look at that. Signed the 74 Tops card there. As well as a 74 Tops traded card. I think I sent him as well. Yeah, there it is. Beautifully signed there. First year of the traded set for Tops slash update set, I guess it would later become. Nice little career. 12 years. Five of those years with the Angels. Three years with the Blue Jays. As well as, I think, three years with the Brewers as well. 74 was a magical year there for Mr. Tom Murphy. Not to be confused with the Seattle Manor catcher Tom Murphy. No relationship between the two of them. Or maybe there is a relationship. I have no idea. You know, it's 2022. Who the hell knows? But I'm pretty sure they don't know each other. Could be wrong. 74, in fact, Tom Murphy got a vote for AL MVP. He finished 66 games that year. Led the league. Saved 20 of those games, which is... Kind of a head scratcher. He must have did a little bit of mop up duty in those appearances. And uh, yeah, he came in 30th, just getting beat out by Jeff Burroughs, Joe Rudy, Sal Bando, Reggie Jackson, Ferguson Jenkins, Catfish Hunter, Rod Carew, Elliot Maddox, Bobby Gritch, Mike Cuellar, Louis Tian, Brooks Robinson, Paul Blair, Nolan Ryan, Burt Campanaris, Raleigh Fingers, Gaylord Perry, Carlos Scrimsey, Ken Henderson, John Hiller, Bob Mercer, Lenny Randall, Dick Allen, Luke Pinella, Sparky Lyle, Mark Belanger, Tommy Davis, Sermon Munson, Don Money, and Steve Busby, as well as Hal McCray. But Right there is Tom Murphy, who beat out George Scott and Pat Dobson to round out the AL MVP of voting for 1974. A real nail-biter nail as far as that's concerned. And uh, yeah, who's at the top? Jeff Burroughs. How about that, sports fans? All right, that's all I got on Tom Murphy. There's his information. Do what you want. And let's move on to return numero cuatro. 
All right, gang, rolling right along here. Mid-Island, New York, our next return. There it is, complete with my uh, stamp of uh, unknown origin, some sort of cartoon. Dave Lemansic. There we go, guys. Dave Lemansic, inaugural Blue Jay in 1977, 43rd pick overall in the expansion pack. In the, the expansion pack in 1976 by the Blue Jays, stole him from Detroit. Eight years in the bigs, four with the Tigers, four with the Blue Jays. In fact, led the Blue Jays in wins in their inaugural season with 13, went 13 and 16. Was a 1979 All Star for the Blue Jays. Pretty awesome feat for Mr. Dave Lemansick. There's information. 20 years, New York Baseball Academy uh, pitching coach or pitching guru, I guess. Pitching coach, I guess is right. 20 years, that's pretty good. He must know something about the wonderful world of pitching. Let's move on now to our final return of the day. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. All right, gang, you ready for the vault? That's right, an old return in my pile of uh, old envelopes I've yet to open. How old? November 27th, 2019, the timestamp on this one, or the date stamp, I guess it would be. Let's see who we got from three years ago, just about. If I can, uh, we got Mr. Eddie Robinson, the late, great Eddie Robinson, a great signer. I always sent off to him when I had came across his cards. Eddie Robinson, who was the oldest living major league player for quite a while. That's not a that's not a number one uh, reign that lasts usually very long, but Eddie was on the top of that list for a long time before passing. He was a big Trump guy. He would do, uh, you know, you know, MAGA stuff and uh, just a crazy old man. Uh, awesome dude there. Um, <laughs> George Elder. He is now your number one. That's right. His name's Elder. He is now the oldest MLB player at 101 years, 108 days. Eddie Robinson, just shy of his 101st birthday. Oh, so close. Art Shalik, number two, he signs. Bill Greason, number three, he signs. I got him back in TTMM 172, I do believe. Played for the St. Louis Browns way back in the day. Larry Miggins, Paul Henrich, Bobby Shantz, national treasure as far as through-the-mail autograph guys are concerned. Carl Erskine's on a lead. Ed Mickelson, Bobby Morgan, Frank Saucier. A lot of these guys sign. I've gotten, I think, I think I've gotten everyone that pretty much does sign in the top maybe 200 I went through the whole list and pretty much sent out to everybody because uh, that's how you end up with a box full of stuff you don't open because you just get so much stuff back. I think I sent off about a thousand envelopes in 2019. So I know some of you guys are like, Chris, how do you, how can you, I just can't wait to open these. And dude, it's different when you're filming them for videos and it's just, you, you gotta, you gotta wait till I, I can film them. I just can't bust them open and then be like, eh, that's who I got, that's who I got. I don't know. That's just not my format. Some people do that. It's just fine. The way they do it, but uh, I just do it this way. So I can't just film. I mean, I guess I could just film just see the problem is I'd film what 30, 40 videos in like one day. I'd open up like four or five at a time, five or six at a time. That's one video and two videos, three videos. But then but then I edit them and then things change. People die. Eddie, Eddie Robinson's no longer with us. And um, I still know I got an Al Kaline out there floating around. I haven't opened up yet can't wait to get that because I, I gave away my other Al Kaline and uh, sold a few more, which kicking myself for that, especially because they were Tops Living and I have zero Tops Living Al Kaline cards signed, which sucks because I had four and I sold them all. So that wasn't a good idea. I think I regret almost every autograph I've ever sold. And there's not many of them, maybe maybe five or six, including those Al Kaline. So not many at all, but geez, I'd even save one for myself. I thought I just, I had, a, I had about 30 more Tops Living Al Kaline cards. So Thought I would just, um, you know, send a couple more and get him signed, but uh, he he uh, he passed away before I had a chance to do that. Mummer, because those top of living Al Kalen cards on uh, eBay are few of them are probably mine. Are going for way more than what I sold them for, so which is I think it was like twenty or twenty five bucks or something. So I mean, when you spend as much money on this stuff as uh, I do, I try I try to recoup some of my some of my overall losses, which I'll never be able to recoup all of them, but I'd try to get rid of some stuff event just, just to get rid of it and get some money flowing back my way, but that was a mistake. 
I did sell, I think, I did sell like 20, 30 LK line top seven cards. I think I got like 10 bucks a pop for them. They, they cost me 375. So I got a little money there, but that was a bummer. I had to, I had to sell all those unsigned ones for 10 bucks and I could have, I could have had a couple signed ones from my collection, which I, uh, still regret to this day. So yeah, I mean, as far as opening up, uh, all these envelopes, it, it just, it's different when you're, when you're doing the YouTube video. So. It's, uh, yeah, I get really excited, and I want to know who it is, but, you know, I mean, I've, I've gotten 20, 30 returns in a week. It's just impossible to keep up with, and um, so I make sure all the, all the information's relevant. I make sure the guys are still signing, and uh, if they change their address, like some dude in this video changed their address, I, I put it on an index card and take a picture of it so you know uh, if it's changed or not, or if maybe I didn't even take a picture of the envelope to begin with, I make sure it's everything's updated, they're still signing. So I'm giving a pertinent, up-to-date information so you guys aren't misled. Every now and then, we're going to come across an Eddie Robinson. I'll let you know if it's an old one. Uh, you guys like you guys should know. Uh, well, I'll, I'll let you know. That's It's just, I guess it's another little part of my, my videos. I can sort of just, um, every now and then, you get to see me open something from 2019. That's kind of cool. So there you guys have it. Through the mail, a Monday, number one. 80 180 we're 20 away from the big 200 but that's 20 weeks away that's damn near that's a long time so it seems like a short number to 20 200 but it's if you go by the week it's it's a while so hope everyone out there had a great weekend hope everyone enjoyed uh watching baseball the weather is getting pretty warm here in oregon boy it was like 97 today sunday not fun whatsoever not a good day it was miserable miserably hot and I don't know how the air works in the truck, but I mean, it seems like you go in there, you get in the truck and you put the AC on and you kind of got to get the hot air out of the truck, right? So you open the windows, you open the back van or whatever you got in your, your vehicle to try to get that airflow into the vehicle. And then eventually somehow the air, air conditioning starts working and instead of kind of the warm slash luke, lukewarm air that gets out of the little vents, it starts getting nice and cool. So I'm not sure. And then you shut the windows because it's recirculating. Because when you hit max AC, it recirculates there in a truck. So you're figuring, okay, well, this must be how air conditioning works. So shut the windows and let it do its thing. I don't want any more hot air in the truck, but I want to get the hot air out of the truck. Not really sure how that works. If anyone can explain how air conditioning works in a vehicle, let me know down below. It's a nice truck. It's a 2020, I think. And uh, you got to figure by 2020, they have AC down. But just I just seem like I have to play around with it a bunch to get it to be like cold. Like, I want it ice cold. I want it really cold. So, description down below, uh, you'll find a bunch of random stuff. Uh, uh, but in the comments down below, you can go ahead and let me know about air conditioning. That'd be great. And uh, one week away from uh, Through the Mail, a Monday, 181. Today, Monday, is a very special day for me and my wife. It's a very exciting day for us. Uh, I'm not going to say why because I don't want to jinx it. But I'll let you know next week what happened. And uh, pretty excited. Oh, yeah. I'm fighting a ticket today, too. I got a, I got a speeding ticket. Uh, a couple months ago, my first speeding ticket in since probably maybe 2004, three ish around that area. What was that? 20 years almost. So I'm fighting it. Yeah, I should have paid it, but I'm pretty stubborn. And I didn't like I didn't like how the whole thing went down. So I'm going uh, I'm going in front of the judge or the jury or, or I don't know if anyone was ever f fought a speeding ticket out there, but uh, I'm a little bummed out. Not bummed out, but I'm just kind of upset about how it happened. I'm taking a stand. I'll let you guys know how that goes next week as well. So uh, I'll be in, uh, I think, Monmouth, city of Monmouth, home of uh, home of uh, Western Oregon University, as well as uh, that dude that played on the Giants. Uh, he was like a tight end a few years ago. Boss, Kevin Boss, I think his name was. And uh, yeah, this, this is enough rambling for you guys. I'm about ready to wrap it up. I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to fight fight the law and I'm going to win. Mark my words, I'll be back next Monday with a little victory speech and uh, this, that, and the other. So hit that uh, like button, like the video, or don't like it. You guys know I don't really care. And um, what else? You can leave a comment if you want. I like the comments. I respond to all the comments. Uh, it might take me a while, but I'll get around to it. I always kind of just go through spurts where I go to hit my comments and I just kind of just, you know, give them a little heart, give them a like, even if uh, they're bad-mouthing me, which is fine. And then I'll uh, leave a comment. And then even the people that spam my uh, comments, I I always have something nice to say to them as well. Very, very nice. They they drop by to spam my comment section. Um, it's, maybe it's not spam to some people. Maybe it's, you know, it's maybe something cool, you know, to check it out. Or, you know, do something like that. Maybe it's some sort of malware that they can, you know, latch onto and enjoy for a while. But all right, gang. 
It's late. 11.56. Still Sunday. Technically, it's very close to being a Monday through the mail Monday. I need to edit this video some more before I go to bed. And um, that's it, gang. Hope everyone out there has a great week. I will try, try to put out another video this week. I will try to update one of my autograph sets. 74 tops, 84 tops, 87 tops, 89 per deck. Trying to get one of them. I think Gary Sheffield has an upcoming uh, signing. I think it's 50 bucks a card. So I'm going to try to get that 89 upper deck signed of Chef Sheffield. And uh, there's a few. There's a lot of signings going on right now. Uh, but uh, there's, uh, just, this, the money adds up. But you know what? I'm going to barrel through and keep the costs and all that stuff public. So you guys can see how insane I am chasing after these autographed sets, which are just obviously, I mean, I'll spend $10,000 on one set and... Uh, if I ever if 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 I drop dead and my wife tries to sell it at like an auction or something or or, or anywhere, I'm, I'm she, sure she'd get like maybe uh, five hundred bucks out of it. So it's a passion play, my friends. So I guess that's sort of um, I don't know. It's a hobby. It's a hobby, right? This is obviously not to make money. It's the exact opposite happens. So yep. All right. It was a long video. I didn't mean to go this long. I'm sorry that first one was kind of long. I had a lot to say about uh, oh what's his face. So. That probably went a little long. Diego Segui, I mean, I, you know, I think about, what's that, what's what, that, two minutes or something? Uh, two and a half minutes? Maybe one minute and, f one minute and, I don't know how long it went. Probably too long. Try to keep them short. It's very tough. You see a video that's too long, you're like, you're just going to skip around. You don't want to watch it. It's like, I don't, I don't want to, I'm not going to listen to this guy talk for like 16 minutes. He's not a professional. It's just like, it's a hobby, kind of, you know. He's, uh, he's not very interesting. Um, maybe my uh, fighting the law story will be interesting. But, I mean, other than that, you know, it's just kind of run-of-the-mill. Just a long video. Nothing worth, you know, I mean, I guess if you're driving in your car. But there's so many good podcasts out there to listen to. There's so much good stuff to listen to right now. You should not be listening to me. And watching the video, eh. Yeah, skip to the end and see all the cards I got. I mean, that's really what most of you do anyway, isn't it? Actually, I haven't really looked at the analytics. Maybe all that stuff is on there. I'm sure it is. I can find that out, but uh, I don't care. I'm okay. I like making these videos. They're fun. I look back on them. Be like, oh, yeah, that was, that was cool. I remember that. I remember getting that guy. Basically, just a, just a bi biographical videography of my, of, videographer of my own, uh, my little TTM collection here. So, <sighs> all right, guys. See ya.